Okay, so we're gonna come for Africa number two. And um alright. This video is gonna be a little bit difficult to explain, and I'm gonna do the best I can. And hopefully you guys will like it. And you might, you might not. Alright. So there's a guy in one of the top buzz things that I did. And um you know. Excuse me. We got into a tiny bit of a debate about Native American stuff. All right. So. Sorry. Let me um, scramble that for a minute. Damn it! Are you thing people? Sorry. Thanks for the likes. And sorry for epic failing. We're just gonna go thanks for the likes. Okay. Let's get back to business now. Alright, so uh I was doing a top bus thing and um you know this managed to have me wind up like my whole night was totally like fracked up and I had to go I had to Google I had to do all kinds of other stuff and um so he here's how life is really messed up, which is why I said we're going to talk about some Native American stuff. So apparently, the guy that I'm speaking, whose name I will leave off, you know, because I'm not in the in the habit of, um, you know, embarrassing or mistreating anybody or putting anybody down or anything like that. And, um, you know, this is something that everybody is entitled to their own opinion on. You know what I mean? And, and all right, so for the bulk of my life, until my Korean friend, thank you, Mr. Kim, um, gave me factual facts on my heritage. All right, because for the bulk of my life, um, I always thought Native Americans were from Atlantis. All right, and then this guy on the internet was, um, you know. He he kind of wanted to contradict me on Native American heritage. All right. So I don't know how to really explain it because I guess he must be a pure blood or full blood. Well, I'm not, you know. So if he's pure blood, he might have a little bit more of an insight than me. But um, when I started Googling stuff, and I know Google isn't a thousand percent right. And then, you know, science can um, debunk a lot of shit. But science can't debunk your eyesight. Alright? So, this is where me and this person will probably have to agree to disagree. Um, every Native American person I've met has Asian features. And some of the shit I found out on Google last night were trying to say that Native Americans come from Polynesia now. Okay, Polynesians are fucking Asian. Trusty Google. No. Show me the picture of a Polynesian man. Showing pictures that match. All right. I'll just pick any random Polynesian man. All right, so he's more than likely a Samoan. All right. Show me pictures of a modern day Native American Navajo. Here are some pictures that match. I need more. That's, um, hey, that's a woman. She doesn't look like a Navajo to me. She looks like a white chick. 
and this is a hairdress. I'm not looking for the hairdress. I'm just looking for a, a picture. Okay, she's definitely Native American. All right. So you got a good look at her. All right, let's see if we can find another one. Show me pictures of an Eskimo or Inuit man. Showing pictures that match. All right. Got a good look at him. His skin tone's a bit dark. All right, let's see if we can find another. Here's a woman. Let me see if I can zoom in on her face. I might not want to use her. She's a tiny bit cross-eyed, but... It just so that you don't think that I was bullshitting about the cross-eyedness. I'm not saying that to pick on this young lady. Let's see if I can find. This will be a little bit better. If the picture shows up. Yes, continue as me, dumbass. This is why I hate technology. What? I am a male. My name is James. I've never met a female James. Just where's the picture that I wanted? There's no martial arts. There's everything here except for what I'm looking for. All right, art. Funny pictures. Men's fitness. Quotes. Men's hairstyle. Maybe I should have did the DIY. I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay, where's the picture that I pushed? No. There. I want these two young Eskimo people. Really? Now see, this is why I hate technology. Okay, so for this young man, in which the group in which I was in and speak, she is an Eskimo. You got a good look at her. Get a really good look at her facial structure. Get a good look at her eyes because Eskimos are Native Americans. Okay. This is another Eskimo. Does she not look Asian to y'all? She looks pretty fucking Asian to me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this in a in a in a in a New York minute. Um they look right Asian to me, but they're Eskimos. They're not Chinese. They are Eskimo. Right? Eskimos are Native Americans. Me and this guy got into a heated debate about this shit. And generally, women do not wear hairdresses. You're looking at her, and you're looking at him. His face is a little worn out of old age. But if you're looking at her, does she not look a little Asian-ish to you? Because Native Americans are fucking Asian. Alright? Now, we have another Eskimo guy. Alright. No, they don't look all the same. But this is an Eskimo. If we take his clothes off and put him in the Chinese regalia, or Japanese regalia, that would be what he would look like. This is another Native American. Old age has tendered his face, so his eyes don't slant very much. Okay? You see where I'm going. All Native Americans came out of Asia. This is why I want to go back to wearing a choker, because they look so cool, and I like chokers. This guy is also a Native American. Alright. He's not an Italian fella playing a Native American. And where the hell is the picture? That is not the picture I clicked on. This is the guy I clicked on. And this guy is from the people that my grand people are from. This guy is a Cherokee Indian. 
Does his eyes look a little slanted to y'all? I mean, you know, I, I do wear glasses for reading. You know, that's maybe, maybe let me brighten it up. Does his eyes look a little slanted? A little tight? So, the problem is that when Native Americans came from Asia over the land bridge, which this guy told me the scientist has debunked that shit. There's nothing wrong with my eyesight. You know. Uh, Rudy Youngblood from um the movie that Mel Gibson did uh, was Native American. And he kind of looked like this guy. Now, your eye structure will change depending on how deep your Native American roots is, all right? So as you can see, I am partially Native American, but I'm also black and I'm also white. So I don't really resemble these guys, all right? Now, let's see if I can find, okay, this looks a very, this is also a Native American, an Eskimo. Let's see. Come on, damn it. Where the, how do you get to? Find me a picture of a Shaolin master. Here are some pictures that match. Yeah, I hate technology. Maybe I should have did a Kung Fu master. Or just a plain clothes Chinaman. Come on, you bastard. I hate technology. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm sorry, people. I swear a lot when I get pissed. But I generally swear a lot anyway. Because I generally stay pissed. No. Okay. So you put a hairdress on this guy. It may be different clothing, which is why Joan Chen. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this if the Google has it. Image of Joan Chen from the movie On Deadly Ground. This will Images take a miracle. Of Joan Chen. That turns Steven Seagal. What's she in? Native American regalia. All right. There's a reason why I'm making this video, just in case that fella happens to show up. Joan Chen is full blood Chinese, by the way. See the difference that clothes can make? Okay, she's completely in Eskimo gear, because she played an Eskimo in this movie. But she's not Inuit. On Deadly Ground. Let's see what that thing says. No. Give the phone a few seconds. You know it's technology. Okay. Damn it. Go back. Come on, damn it. And why are you not charging up my phone? Okay. On deadly ground. Masu. That's her character name. M A S U. Her real name is Joan Chen. Let's see what happens when I click on this thing to see what it says about her biography. Born to a family of doctors educated in China and Shanghai. Film Shanghai Film Academy Institute of Foreign Languages. Joan Chen was discovered by veteran. Now it gives me the full the full um thing was discovered by veteran Chinese director Jin Ji. I probably didn't say it right, but X I E. Um, while over over overversing a film in a school group, her performance as Zhao Ha, aka the Little Flower, won China Best Actress Award. So, put that little X there. Born to a family of doctors, educated in China. As far as I know, 
Joan Chen is not an American, but apparently she might be an American. So if I'm wrong on that, I apologize to Joan Chen. Let's see how good Google really is. I would like to see a picture of Vivian Wu as Little Drum Beater in Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, let's see if they're going to give me an image of her. Well, here's Vivian Wu. She's not Native American. But she played a Native American on TV. Let's see if we can find her as Little Drum Beater. No, we may have her right here. Let's see. Oh, for God's sake. This is her in Eskimo clothing. So when you watch my heart to hearts and understand why I said, okay, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. There's Joan Chen in Chinese clothing or an American dress. Excuse me, Vivian Wu. Vivian Wu's one sexy bride, by the way. Yeah, I know she has a husband. A lot of y'all probably don't um, know who Vivian Wu is. She's a very beautiful actress. She also played in The Giver. I'm pretty sure that was her. It better have been her. If it wasn't her, then it was Joan Chen in The Giver, and then I'm going to really feel like an idiot. Let's see. Let's ask Google. Was it Joan Chen or Vivian Wu that played in The Giver? Here are some pictures that match. That ain't got nothing to do with The Giver right there. Hear that shit. This doesn't even have Giver written on the damn thing. Which Asian star was in The Giver? Joan Chen or Vivian Wu? See, this is why I hate technology. I know that Joan Chen was in Saving Face. <sighs> yeah. All right, nothing's working. They've actually worked together in a couple of movies too, by the way. Let's try this. Cast list of The Giver. Its cast includes Jimmy Walker, Peter Spellows, and 15 others. Yeah, I'd like to know who they are. Thank you. It was Vivian Wu in The Giver, not Joan Chen. It's not showing her picture from The Giver, but this was her. All right. The Giver was a good movie. Y'all should go check that shit out. And if they reboot it, I would like to play The Giver while I can still move physically. Vivian Wu for the Giver. I think she's like maybe five, six. Let's find out. And then we'll get back on this topic. How tall is Vivian Wu? She's five feet six inches tall. Okay, well, she's taller than me. <laughs> and Joan Chen's taller than me also because she's five four. <laughs> so it's right here. You know, Vivian Wu. 5'6", Joan Chen, 5'4". Uh, Joan Lone, he's a good actor, just in case y'all don't know who he is. Um, yeah, lots of actors are taller than Lisa Lee. I forgot what she played in, but she's an old school cat. Still sexy, if she's still alive. That picture, she was still sexy. Okay. Show me a Chinese royal guard. Images of Chinese, sure. That is Star Wars. This person will do. And she will do. Looks more like a damn doll. Okay. So that's her clothing. 
show me female Native American royal guard. If such a thing exists. No. But they do have Native American in gear. All right, maybe this might um, convince him. Okay. So, the, the long and short of that is, you know, I've had my bell rocked a couple of times about where Native Americans came from. So, when I Googled all this stuff last night, there was so much misinformation and information, and I don't know where to take it. So the misinformation or the information, depending on what you want to believe, there's nothing wrong with my eyesight and Native Americans are Asian. My great grandmother looked more like she could pass for a Chinese person than a Native American. And all the only thing that is probably different from them is that almost every Asian culture has dragons, but none of them have totem poles except Mongolia and Native Americans hailed out of Asia, out of Mongolia. And here's the funny thing about that. The West Coast Indians have totem poles. Not really an East Coast thing. So somewhere during the Great Splinter, everyone took their own beliefs and persecutions of tribal. And only the second generation of Native Americans are Native Americans. The others are nomads from Asia who became Eskimos, who splintered off into First Nations and Icelandic Eskimos, and all the way back down to the tip of South America. So to answer the question, are Native Americans Asian? Yes. Are Polynesians Asian? Yes. So even if Native Americans were Polynesian, they are still fucking Asian. But I guess Mr. Smith, who I have mad respect for, doesn't want to believe that. Well, here's a newsflash for you. I didn't believe it either until it was proven to me. There was a big fight with me and my Korean friend. I mean, there was a big fight. We argued back and forth for like almost the entire day until we went to the library and we got like five or six encyclopedias, a couple of Native American history books, and Native Americans are Asian. Let's find out, Google. Where did Native Americans hail from? According to Wikipedia, the ancestors of living Native Americans arrived in what is now the United States at least 15,000 years ago, possibly much earlier, from Asia via Varincia. From Asia via Varincia, which means from Asia through Siberia. And that's why some Native Americans don't have as slanted eyes as most. All right, And you have to understand when you migrate anybody that's in your way if you don't conquer them they conquer you and therefore mr smith and everyone else google has screwed me again by saying now native americans are back from asia through barinthia not from asia during micronesia and polynesia and even if they are from micronesia and polynesia that still makes them Asian. Check it. Are Polynesians Asians? Here's a summary from Quora. Polynesians are the biggest race in the world. According to a genetic study, Polynesians' descent are 79% Asian, 21% Melanesian, and are the descendants of a very few ancient people who intermixed to together to form today Polynesian. Ah, uh, 79% Asian. So even if Native Americans are Polynesian descent, they're still fucking Asian. All right. Stay tuned for the second video about this stuff. Because, you know, I get mixed up with Filipino and Mexican a lot. And guess what? Mexicans are actually Native American because they are also part of that big conglomerate that came across the land bridge with the Great Splinter. Thanks for watching.